So hello, welcome to the second session of the installation process. We've successfully installed Python and it's um accomplished the IDLE, but then um we need to um start the installation procedures for um um an editor. So during assignments, when you are given an assignment to type something, use Microsoft Word. So um, as a Python programmer or as a programmer, you need um, a text editor to also type your codes. And there are a lot of text editors such as Cobra, um, PyCharm, Act, uh, Active, sorry, no, Atom and other stuff. But then the um, text editor will be using, which is the ID, IDE will be using for this um, um, online um, Python programming course is uh, VS Code. Visual Studio Code, so micro or Microsoft Visual Studio Code, and take note that it's quite different from um, Microsoft Visual Studio. So Microsoft Visual Studio is the bigger version, and the uh, Microsoft VS Code or Visual Studio Code is a smaller version, the light, just like Facebook and Facebook Lite. So we are going to use um, Microsoft Visual Studio Code. So you open your Chrome. And you type um download download um VS code VS code then you press enter so you select the very first link you click on it download VS code and the website appears now if you are using a Windows you click on this if you are using a MacBook, you click on that. You use this one. If you are using Linux and Ubuntu or whatever it is, you choose one of the following. And I know if you are using Linux, then you already know what I'm talking about. So for me, I'm using um Windows. So I use the Windows version. So um the download begins. Okay. But for me, I've already made I've already downloaded it. So let me cancel it here and go into my downloads and use it so once you are done downloading it appears in your downloads so let's go to the downloads and you see um so in my downloads i have my vs code user setup 1.77.3 so the 1.77.3 is the current version so let us run it Um, so you accept agreement, you click on next, next again, then next again, wait, let me check something. Okay, so next, then you say create a desktop icon, click add open with code, then add, check everything here, then go to next and next again. So we wait for the application to get installed. This will take some few minutes and VS Code doesn't keep long. And for your information, the VS Code file size is about 85 megabytes, I think around 85 megabytes, so it's not that big. And the Python file size was like 23 or 25 megabytes. So I don't think this is a lot of data. Okay, so it's done um, downloading or oh, sorry, installing. So you just click on finish and automatically it will open. If it doesn't open for you, double click on the VS Code icon. So when it opens the window for the first time, this is the interface that you see. Let's wait for everything to. Okay. So you've been shown the welcome page. Now take note that even though you've installed the text editor, Python is not installed on this app. You install the Python on your laptop, but this app also needs Python installation. So VS Code needs Python to be installed. So when you check here, we have exp you come down, you see this uh, four square boxes with the name extension. So you click on these four square boxes and it opens. Now the language we want to use here is Python. So we have to search for Python. But you have to also make sure that you have internet connection because it's loading up there. You can see that 
it's loading up there so you search for python and press enter and wait for it to load we need to install python on this application as well and mind you you can install java on this application and you can start running java codes you can install c++ on this application and start running c++ codes so let us choose the microsoft version there are other, there are other versions here but i want the microsoft version so then we click on install then we install python on the application itself so you can see that it's running over here it's loading so um i'll pause the video then i'll pause the video then um wait for the installation process to complete then we continue from there to reduce the file size so as you can see um the installation has um, been successful so you realize that um now python has been installed you see this um small thing looking like a star here there is this one so it has been installed and you can see get and um, get started with python development so create a python file and select a python interpreter run and debug so let us mark done you scroll down and mark down so you are done here you come back to the boxes um the box is here on your far left then you click on it to close it so now we are done installing python on this um, application and we are also done install installing the application itself and we are done installing python on our pc in general so let us close it for now so um we, i want us to test whether um python we can now run our python file so what i want you to do right now is open vs code again and when you open it um when you open when you launch vs code you see that um you see new file open file then open folder so quickly create um a folder on your screen on your desktop let me say python project let me name it python project python project so I've created a folder on my desktop and it is called Python projects. Okay. So that is where you'll be writing your codes. So open folder, click on open folder and you go to desktop and you go to um, Python projects. Then you say select folder. So once you select folder, we are now in our Python project file. Okay. It will ask you, trust the author of all files in the parent folder desktop so you click yes you trust the author because you are the person who created it and you believe that there are no viruses there so you say yes i trust the author then you select so once it's done now if you look here you see python projects that means that we've opened this folder inside of vs code now let us create a file so this button here says new file you click on it and now you put your file name so let's type something like test we want to test whether python is working correctly don't forget to put dot py so the extension for python is dot py so let that we are testing python so test dot py okay then we press enter to save it so it opens the first line for you to type your code so just to run a test just type this python command you don't need to understand it okay so say print let me say name maybe name is equal to um let's say the name is that you can put your name there let's say kofi ajolulu kofi ajolulu is the name then maybe you can say print hello then put comma so hello then complete it with the name then um so print hello and the name together so you see this white button it means that the file has not been saved so you click on control s or you can just quickly click here um no wait you can just quickly 
click here and read, read, read. Okay, click on this button here, run Python file. So it automatically saves it and run the file for you. So you see it's printed here. Hello, Kofi Adobe. So if you've not installed Python on this application, this one won't come. It will tell you that it can't run it. And something will show down here that try and install. There will be a notification down here around this place that try and install Python. Then you would click on it. So what do you think? But mind you, it took some time. It took like 30 minutes to get Python installed on this application. Okay. So it means that uh, um, our app is now working and it can understand Python stuff. In case in future you are dealing with something like HTML and you want to start using this uh, Visual Studio Code for HTML, you have to just click here and type HTML. Then you install so you can select any of them. So you click on this one, then you click on install. If you want to start working on Java, you just click on Java, you type Java here, then it gives you samples of Java extensions that you can install. So it all depends on the program you want to use. So there's another Java extension pack that you can install, but that is not what we are doing. So you close the extension um, column, which is that boxes. You close it because that's not what you are interested in. Close this Java extension. Okay. So now you can see that we can run our code in the file. So it also comes back again. We can add more commands. We can, we can add more commands such as, let me say, um, you are welcome to study with us. So you are welcome to study with us. I can run it again and see the output. Hello, Kofi Adolu. You are welcome to study with us. So everything is working perfectly. Okay. So now let us delete it. And we can now safely close this and close our application. Okay. So we can close your application. So we can see that Python has been installed and the IDLE has been installed and Visual Studio has been installed. So thank you for following the installation process. Bye.